we were given a transformation from R2 to R2 given by T of XY. I've also included T of XY using column matrices here on the right. Number one, which of these vectors is in R of T, the range of T? The range of T is the same as the image of T. And number two, which of these vectors is in the kernel of T? Let's first determine whether any of the given vectors are in the range of T or the image of T. If they are, they'd have to be a possible output of the transformation T of XY. So to set this up, we set T of XY equal to the vector five negative two, T of XY equal to the vector two five, and T of XY equal to the vector seven three. And now using the formulas for the X and Y components of the output vectors, notice we have a system of equations. So now we are going to solve each system. If the system has a solution, then the corresponding vector is in the range or image of T. If the corresponding system does not have a solution, then the vector would not be in the range or image of T. So to solve the systems, we'll use augmented matrices. So for the first system, the first row is 25, negative 10, five. The second row is negative 10, four, negative two. And for the next two systems, the only change is the third column. The third column is the vector we're trying to determine if it is in the range or image of T. Of course, the next step is to write the augmented matrix in reduced or echelon form, which I've done to save time. Because we have a system of two equations and two unknowns, looking at the first augmented matrix in reduced or echelon form, because we have a row of zeros in the second row, we know we have an infinite number of solutions, which also means the system is consistent and dependent. Because we have at least one solution, the vector five negative two is in the range of T or the image of T. So we can go ahead and select the first vector. But looking at the next two augmented matrices in reduced or echelon form, notice how in the second rows we have zero, zero, one, which is a contradiction. Zero does not equal one. These two systems are inconsistent and therefore the vectors two, five, and seven, three are not in the range of T or in the image of T. And now to determine which of these vectors is in the kernel of T. The kernel of T is a set of all input vectors such that T of the input vector equals the zero vector. So to determine if these are in the kernel of T, we simply need to find T of five negative two, T of two five, and T of seven three, which I've already set up here. Notice how we substitute X and Y into the formulas given for the X and Y components of the output vectors. And again, we're looking to see if any of these result in the zero vector. Performing the calculations, we can see only T of the vector two five is equal to the zero vector, and therefore the only vector in the kernel of T is the vector two five. I hope you found this helpful.